So the battle continues. All right, both sides have built up their cards. So Shama has plus 10, Ak has plus 5. I'm going to draw my card for my arcane side. And so now I have another spell, which is Alta. So Alta is going to go onto the attack field along with my numbers. And if you're kind of following it, you'll see that it's very similar to the war concept. You're looking for the biggest number. The difference is you get to use more than one card. All right, so I'm going to draw my next card, and it's a plus five. So I'm going to put my attack cards out, attack cards out. I'm still not using my instinct. Now, Perlu requires my Pyro Crystal, which I can look on Ox card, and I see the Aqua Crystal and the Pyro Crystal in the background, which means both crystals are in play. So I can also use my Perlu spell card. All right, so the attack would happen. Both sides would add up. So I have plus 10 and then the effect, which says I can manipulate water states of matter and reduce each of your opponent's attacks to plus one. So all three of these would now become plus one, except Perlu's also got its effect, which says... Transform into fire increases your attack by plus 15. Um, if you do not play any other attack cards, but I did play other attack cards. So all three of these become plus one, which means it's a total of three attack where my arcane side has plus 10 plus seven. So we got 17 plus 11, which is 28. So, the mystic side takes a brutal attack of 25, which is subtracted from the life points. And then the cards go to the reshuffle pile.